Welcome to my channel, Innova World. Hey guys, once again welcome back to my channel. This tutorial will be highly effective for aeronautical and mechanical engineering students and especially those who are preparing for a competitive examination. Principal Inertial Access Method So this is uh, to find out the bending stress. So imagine any surface. From the surface, consider this is a point G. G is a point of centroid. From here, this is the x-axis, this is a y-axis. Now, in principal uh, inertial axis method, what we do is, this is our usual axis, x and y. From here, we will take one more layer or we will take an axis on a principal axis. So, consider this is an u, this is v of an angle theta. In some author, they have written theta p. So you can either write theta or theta p. Both are same. Now after forming this, this is also theta p. Now here consider this is a point. We need to find out point p. And we need to find out the inertia, moment of inertia of this point or a shear stress point on this point p. Now consider this is a point somewhere in this x and y axis. Consider the coordinate, coordinate x and y. So if the coordinate is x and y, what happens? So this value becomes what? Y. And this value becomes x. From here, this is x, this is y. Now, similarly, if I need to find corresponding the value of p, then what is u and v? Similarly, draw a parallel line from this u-axis from this point. So consider this is a point, this is a line. So this is u. Consider another parallel line from the point P and parallel to V. Yeah. So consider this is V and this is u. Two distinct value I have written in different color. Now, what you do is, now from here, what is our fundamental thing is, we need to find the value of V and U. Using the V and U with respect to X and Y, we need to find the moment of inertia value for U, E, Y, uh, X, um, that means in U, U uh, axis, Y, Y axis and U, V axis. We need to find we need to find this thing. From here, we can find the bending stress. So, how you can find? Now, using this diagram, let me magnify this diagram. This is a point P here with the coordinate X and Y. So, this is U, this is V, this is Y and this is X. So, we are drawing parallel to you. So, this is U value and this is, this is a V value. And this is our X and this is our Y. Now, what we have to found is, what is U? So, from this figure, let's point out that so this is equal to the this length this length consider this name as 0 this is g g this is um, point p this is name something b c right name anything so what you do is after that what is u then u is equal to either cp or gb but we can't get any value from gb so what we do is we form an triangle 
so if this is theta p this angle will also be theta p so let's make a triangle from here like this this is 90 degree so now let make one more perpendicular line from here so what happens name this as a point so if you make this point this is one triangle this is one triangle so then it will be easy for you to find now if you see this this is parallel to this one so g and make this point as some d value so g g d equals to name this e equals to e p equals to x got it so this forms one triangle and this one triangle now it will be easy for us to find then what is u then u equals to g a g a plus plus a b g a plus a b now what is g a g a we can find using this triangle how we can use this triangle this is a right angle triangle so this is a what this is a base this is a base and we know the hypotenuse hypotenuse is the x so what we can write from this triangle that is cos theta p equals to g a by x or g a equals to x cos theta p so in place of g a we can write x cos theta p now how to find a b this a b see this this a b using this triangle this a b will be equals to d b because both are parallel both are parallel so we can say a b equals to d b so first we'll find this triangle what is this triangle we need to find what we need to find this d b value so we know this this is a v value and this is a y value so we know the hypotenuse and we know the what is this this is a height so we can what you can find is sine theta p equals height is uh, d d b sorry d b by hypotenuse is y so d sorry d b equals to y sine theta p now d b is equals to a b so in place of here we can write y sine theta p so u equals to x cos theta p plus y sine theta p this is one formation now similarly we will find for the v how we can find v now what is v v is this we can say till here this much that is p b so p b can be written as p of this point consider this is a point of f p f minus we need to find this p b so p f minus b f we can find the value of v now what is b f c here the v f can be read the b f is equals to a d similarly if you find the triangle this triangle and this triangle so finally you will get as the value is y cos theta p minus x sin theta p the value of v so that is the value of your v got it now according to the second movement of inertia area that is i u on the u axis what is the formula integral of v square dA this is a formula i equals to integral of v square dA now it's very simple after this you know what is the value of v v is a y cos theta p minus x sin theta p which you have already derived before now you are gonna substitute over here integral of y cos theta p minus x sin theta p whole square dA now you are going to square this term so you know a square minus a square is sorry a minus b whole square formula a square plus b square minus 2ab this is a form so you are going to what is a, a over here a is y cos theta p b is x sin theta p so 
you just simplify that cos square theta p plus x square sine square theta p minus 2xy cos theta p into sine theta p. Got this point? And don't forget to put integral and dA. Now after this, if you integrate this, you will get i u u equals to i x x cos square theta p plus i y y sine square theta p minus 2 i x y cos theta p into sine theta p. Because you know what is the meaning of integral of x y a d a is nothing but the i x y. So in place of that we wrote this. If you simplify further you will get like this i x x plus i y y by 2 plus i x minus i y by 2 cos 2 theta p minus i x y sine 2 theta p. This is an important formula. This is a very very important formula. Got it? Similarly, you can find I U V. What is I U V? Integral of U V D A. So from the previous equation, we know what is U and what is V. So you just have to multiply. What is U? U is X cos theta P plus Y sine theta P into Y cos theta P minus X sine theta P close the bracket and into dA. Simplify this equation and you will get how you can simplify cos theta p into y cos theta p minus x sin theta p plus y sin theta p into y cos theta p minus x sin theta p close the bracket dA. Now what you get xy cos square theta p minus x square cos theta p sin theta p plus y square sin theta p cos theta p minus xy sin square theta p dA. So finally you get as I U V equals to I X or plus of minus of I Y Y plus I X X by 2 sine 2 theta P. Similarly you can find I V V. So I V V means what? Integral of U square D A. So what is U? Integral of X cos theta p plus y sine theta p whole square dA. Now you solve this integral square. This is a plus b whole square form. a square plus b square plus 2ab. So x square cos square theta p plus y square sine square theta p plus 2xy cos theta p into sine theta p whole bracket dA. Now if you integrate this form you get as I V V equals to I X X plus I Y Y by 2 plus I X plus I Y by 2 sine square theta p plus I X Y cos 2 theta p. This is an another important formation. Got it? Now, as we know that product of moment of inertia is always 0. That means I U V is always 0. How, when? So, to find the theta P value. What theta P value? To find the theta P value, we need to categorize this. This is a condition. 
what is that the product of moment of inertia will be zero so consider this equation is zero so taking that equation i x y cos 2 theta p equals to i y y minus i x x by 2 sin 2 theta p we get this okay now if you simplify that bring this term here okay let me bring let me bring this term there and this term here so what we get as sin 2 theta p by cos 2 theta p equals to i x y 2 i y y minus i x x so what is mean by this we can write as tan 2 theta p equals to 2 i x y by i x i y y minus i x x or in other words we can also say tan 2 theta p equals to 2 minus of 2 i x y by i y y minus i, I x x minus i y y or theta p equals to half tan inverse 2 i x y by i well done ok so you no need to take the minus here you just take this one here so this way that's all so, now it's come time for bending moment so bending moment denoted by the sigma z so sigma z can be written as m u i v into v minus m v i u into u by i u i v there is a form there is a formula for bending stress for the principal axis method or it can be also be simplified as sigma z equals to m u into v by i u minus m v into u by i v so how you can remember you know the bending moment formula what is bending moment formula m by i equals to sigma by y equals to e by r you know this is a bending moment formula so you once the first side you have m by i so remember that both the side you have same thing that is u here also you have v now here if it is u here will be the v likewise you can remember a negative so you can remember m u by i u minus m v by i v then you remember the cross thing if it is u here the multiplication will be the different one that is v into u equals to sigma z that like how you can memorize it i hope this session was useful and, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more updates thank you for watching this video and don't forget to share with your needy friends take care bye